MTA is known as the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. And it has really five agencies that the MTA is the umbrella. So you think about this large, big, big authority, MTA, and you have these other agencies that work under the MTA. So you have New York City Transit. We're the biggest. We provide the subways and buses within New York City. We have our Long Island Railroad, which takes people who live out in our Long Island region of New York and brings them into New York City. Um, and then we also have the Metro North, which takes folks who live towards the north um, and Connecticut and brings them in to um, New York City as well. In New York City Transit, we move more than 7 million people per day. And that is humongous. We have 50 thousand employees between our subway side, our buses, and all of our other. We have engineers, we have lawyers, we have doctors, we, we have nurses, um, we have police. And so it is phenomenal. People who want to come and make a movie that they have to go onto the subway tracks, they have to come in and take training. So there's a program called 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes did a profile on New York City Transit and our president, Andy Byford, well, they had to come to us and they had to take track safety training, which is really cool. Um, and so that's the work that we do. We're, we're moving people. And the other thing that's so cool about transportation is I work for New York City Transit. Before that, I worked for the Port Authority. And that was about bridges and that was about tunnels and that was about the airport. All, regardless if you're in transit or if you're in transportation, whatever area of transportation, it's about moving people. And we're so cool that people forget about us until we're not working, and then people remember us. What I love about what we do is that we provide the lifeline for, us, for our city. I remember being a kid in New York City and getting on the train to come down into Manhattan to go to the biggest library in New York City that was open on a Saturday. I remember when my mom would give me two tokens and tell me not to lose my tokens. Now we don't use tokens, but that was a little bit back then. I remember riding the buses to get to work when I was just a, a teenager and having to go to my first job. That's what we do. We provide, pe we connect people, we connect people to jobs, we connect people to family. Transportation is so important within our country and cities that want to be thriving, cities that want to grow, they must have a viable, a productive public transit system. Yeah, it's nice to get in your car, but it's easier to move people with trains and with buses. But it's also harder and it's also complicated. And if you want to see people who are doing really cool work, it's, there's a great um, organization called um, the Transportation Research Board where great thinkers from all over the world and transportation come together with new ideas. It's a place where we bring creativity. It's a place where we think about how do we make the system work? So in New York, we have the tunnels. The tunnels are there. We can't rebuild the tunnels. They were built over 100 years ago. But how do we make the tunnels work faster? How do we improve our technology? How do we make it better so that someone can look at their phone and know what time a train is coming or know what time a bus is coming? That's what transportation is doing.